Celine is surrounded by beautiful farmland. It's a town full of families, a lot of stones and boulders. The Celine River provides a priceless water amenity, and everyone has a dog. Michigan Avenue is the busy highway that runs through Celine. It began as the Sauk Indian Trail. And here's a map. The red lines are Indian paths. Notice how many of those paths go to Celine, probably because of the salt springs there. There's a very large vein of salt deep under Michigan, and that explains the many salt mining and brine extraction companies we have in Michigan. We think that briny water seeping up from below and then drying on the ground explains the one-time salt flats here in the Saline River corridor. The flats may have looked something like these salt flats in Nebraska that attracted early people and animals for centuries. But apparently there isn't much to see in Saline uh, anymore. Saline has created Salt Springs Park right along the river, right where the salt springs were. It's adjacent to the DNR Fisheries Station, but they have not yet made a path through the very thick shrubbery. <coughs> Well, I really liked this tree a lot. It's a box elder. I really wanted to climb it. Anyway, it did get my mind off the, my disappointment. I decided to take a look at the wider Ice Age history around Selene. It seemed to have a lot of interesting features. This map drawn in 1907 can help us see the landscape because the glacial moraines are labeled. Here's the Fort Wayne moraine and this one is the Defiance moraine and we can see its label over here. This ground moraine is part of the Defiance moraine because here's more of the Defiance moraine and here's a little island of it here and here and this is more of it up here. The water courses and marshes are mostly undrained still 100 years ago and uncorralled. So stepping back to a wider view like this, we can see that the Saline area contains some dramatic Ice Age features. This, is, this became the Ann Arbor Airport, where the I and the T of Pittsfield are. Right on this peat, the P is for peat, and this is G-O for gravel outwash. So as this massive amount of meltwater, glacial meltwater outwash, um, came and flowed this way toward the southwest all the way to Ohio where a big lake was forming. A big lake was forming behind the Fort Wayne moraine in Ohio while the ice margin stood on the Defiance moraine. And then as it continued melting eastward, that lake got bigger and bigger and finally reached all the way up here and even much further. And of course, Lake Erie is the remnants of that, that meltwater lake. But anyway, what interests us for Saline is that a lot of meltwater was coming out of Ann Arbor in the Allen's Channel. It divided here into a few different streams. This, this moraine had not yet been breached, but it was this water coming out of... Uh, Ann Arbor that did eventually breach this moraine and then this water here that had been flowing southwest was able to begin flowing this way and become the Saline River and then these little remnants that remained became tributaries of the Saline River and then flowed out this way as the ice melting away allowed and then these beach ridges are various levels of that ancient lake, Lake Maumee. Now Using this map to explore this area, right now if you look at a Google map, 
it would be very difficult. It's all covered with the housing developments and the roads and whatnot, and these channels are not obvious. So using the airport as our guide, this is State Street. You can recognize it for this crook here beside the airport. Directly below the airport, here's a place we can go to see this outwash channel. In here, is Avis Farms Technology Park. And there's a causeway today directly across this channel. The, the, the tributary still flows with water and there's a, a lake on both sides of this causeway that we can walk across. On this side there's a housing development called Waterways and this is Lower Road. Park at the end of the causeway and walk across to Avis Farms or go into Avis Farms and walk over to Waterways. You can also walk in a circle uh, from Waterways up to another point in Avis Farms and, and make a very nice circle. Further exploration can be made on Textile Road. This is Textile. Starting over here at State Street, we notice that the road goes downhill, and in this low point, there's a lovely Pittsfield Township Park called Woolly, Woolly Park. And it's full of tall marsh grass, but it's also beautifully landscaped and there's some boardwalk up here along textile. And that's, you're right in this meltwater channel when you're in that park. And then if you continue on textile, you'll go uphill, you'll touch on a little bit of this moraine here, you go downhill again, uphill again, and right here at the corner of textile and Wagner, is the tiny Lodi Cemetery. Of course, high ground was chosen for the cemetery. And again, go downhill, cross this gravel outwash, which contains tributaries flowing off of the Fort Wayne moraine, gathering their waters, which will eventually go into the uh, Saline River. Continue on um, textile for the fun of it and you start climbing the beautiful Fort Wayne Moraine into this beautiful hilly farmland, swell and sag topography. Likewise, if we begin in Saline and we go out Austin Road, where the new Catholic Church is right here, it's a tall landmark. Austin Road is another one of our straight section line roads, straight across this beautiful swell and sag farmland. And then you notice going downhill, and you enter a perfectly flat area. Farmland still, utterly flat. And that's where the Saline River is flowing through this LC, Lake Clay area. Continue on. If you do, you'll come up, go uphill again into the beautiful swell and sag farmland. If you go as far as Bridgewater, there's farm roads you can use to connect back across. This one is called Feld Camp, super flat plain th that once flowed with tremendous amounts of meltwater that flowed all the way down to Ohio. Follow Feld Camp. This part here is the, again the gravel outwash. Back up onto Michigan Avenue, Route 12. Climb, climb, climb. Back to Saline. Another beautiful drive out of Saline is Macon Road. And Beautiful farmland. Oh, I love this uh, swell and sack. Anyway, along here, if you go, you'll notice you're on the edge of the ancient, the first uh, level of uh, Lake Maumee. As you're driving along, you notice you're on this edge, and you can look down what would have been the water, like a lakeshore drive. Back in Saline now. That Ice Age excursion re-emphasizes that the Saline River is the essential asset here. Well, Saline is on it, and it's going to be beautiful. The town has some wonderful river and creekside paths planned, as shown on this map. Um, here's the Salt Springs Park. Can't wait for that. Uh, there's going to be a crossing, apparently, from Curtis Park to Mill Pond. This is a problem, of course, because all those heavy trucks come down this hill and this hill, and they're not going to want to stop. Uh, over here, there's going to be a path along this 
stream that feeds into the Saline River. This is the Saline River coming in from the west. And this is the wood outlet drain that comes in from the Ann Arbor Airport and flows through the Avis Technology Center where, where you can cross over it on that causeway. Saline has already built a very nice boardwalk system here where we can look down on this lively stream and, and enjoy it. And one more thing I should mention that's pretty exciting, they do have a bridge planned. There is already a bridge, but it only goes across the tributary, not the, the river. And it will be really nice for this side of town to be attached to all these river parks. When we follow the river, we always want to get up close to the dams, no matter how homely they are. This 1872 map has us looking southward across the city of Saline. It's showing two dammed ponds. We still have both of them. We still have both dams, though they're both modernized. Now, the first one is the mill pond in the lower right. Of course, we still have that one. And take a look at that mill building there. Tall, four-story white building uh, right near the pond we still have that building. In the back, at the horizon line, that mill pond is on the tributary, the Coke Warner uh, drain. And that mill building there with the smoke coming out of the chimney was the York Grist Mill. It later became uh, the power center, power building for a fish farm. Later when the DNR bought the mill, they removed that building and they put up their own little building, but still on the same site. Here is the mill we just saw on the old map, the Shiler Mill. Today it's beautifully kept up as a wedding venue. This building is a fantastic and beautiful waypoint in Saline. It was one of Henry Ford's village industry sites. This one used locally grown soybeans to make soybean oil for automobile paint. And the house across the street was a school for the mill employees' children. All right, thank you, Celine, for a beautiful visit. I've loved getting to know you, most of which I couldn't fit into this video. Meanwhile, I'll see you out there.